everyone. As Rachel James said, I am Anne. I'm a body and animal whisperer. And what I do is completely unique. <laughs> Anyone have days feeling like this? Of course you do. We all do. And when we are living with physical pain or emotional stress every day, it really starts to affect the quality of our life. It starts to affect our success, our relationships, our health. And not many people know this, but it also starts to affect our children, our grandchildren, and our animals too. I think your body is amazing, and I had the pleasure of working with hundreds of women all over the world, and their animals as well. But I haven't always done this. I used to be in the corporate industry. And when we emigrated to Australia, our world's changed. And the experience that happened to us started my spiritual journey because before then I wasn't interested in alternative therapies and um, I was quite a skeptic so I really had to have the rug pulled out from underneath me to really get me onto a spiritual journey and during that journey I met this dog called Ella. Now Ella was a seeing eye dog. She we were asked to look after her for three weeks because she had cancer. And the moment that she walked down the driveway to come and stay with us, I felt this shift in my body and I knew I wasn't going to let her die. The Western medicine had given up on her. They said that she only had a few weeks to live and she was literally coming to us while they'd done the paperwork and she was going to be put to sleep. And I had to go and find out different ways to get her better and that's all I wanted to do. So a journey together started, she would come with me and I found a lady who would teach me how to work with her. And over the next six months, we was allowed to keep Ella and she would come and nudge me when she wanted me to work with her. And then she'd just get up, shake and walk off. And I was thinking, what's going on here? Like, does this really work? And I was really questioning it. And then my husband had this accident where we were getting a chicken coop and the corrugated iron roof slid off the top of it and it went through a vein and artery in his arm. And when we got back from the hospital, it had all of these stitches inside, internally and externally. And I went, oh, can I practice on you what I do for Ella? And he's a skeptic as well and just went, do what you like, I don't care. <laughs> and as I started to work with him, he went, oh my God, I can't believe what's happening in my body. And he gave me some feedback that what was working with her worked with people as well and so I've expanded and I now have the pleasure of working with people all over the world and um, Ella was with us for nearly six years she completely changed my life and on the day when she was going to be put to sleep I said I was laying with her on the floor and I said to her Ella when you've gone I'm not going to carry on doing this anymore and she just lifted her head and she looked at me and she went, are you kidding me? <laughs> and I, I started to laugh because we'd gone on such a journey together that if I hadn't have carried on doing what I was doing with animals and other people, it would have been a waste. And so I now know that she's with me when I'm doing my work and yeah, I've carried on. So that's why I do what I do. So what causes our emotional stress and pain? Now, when we see, hear, feel or touch experiences that are happening in our environment, the information and energy is, is passed through our body. And when everything is working how it's meant to be, we don't take any notice. So we're just living in the moment and we're enjoying what we're doing. Now, when it's not processed properly, the energy becomes stuck. So the body's very intelligent and when an experience that you've had in the past that's caused you hurt or jealousy or stress is happening again, the body just says, no, I don't want to deal with that, and it blocks it, and that's why it becomes stuck. Now, what is also happening is that the mind then goes into overdrive and wants to know why that energy is stuck, <laughs> and that's when we go into overthinking and overanalyzing everything. So you've got your mind with all the emotional thoughts, and then you've got the blocked energy in your body and that can start to cause you physical pain. It can cause migraines, hip problems, back, neck or shoulder pain because your body wants you to deal 
with the stuck energy and process it so that it's not causing you problems anymore. So I work with many women who have migraines, um, digestive issues, and it's really about getting to the root cause of the problem. When women first come to me, they tell me that they've had pain for 5, 10, 15, or 20 years, and they've, they've still got it. They've, they've tried so many other modalities to get to releasing the problem, but what's happening is they are not getting to the root cause. Now, sometimes people think that you have to go back and live through all trauma and all of the stories that have happened to you during your, your past to be able to release the energy, but you don't. It can be done in such a gentle way, and that's what I love doing with women. Sometimes I don't even need to discuss with them what has caused the, stuck, the energy to become stuck. It can just be released very gently and um, in a really amazing way as well. The other thing that um, we don't realise, when we're in the womb, if our mum is going through any stress or anxiety or anything, the energy is passed on to us whilst we're in the womb. So if your mum was having a particular experience where she was stressed and she smelled a particular smell, what can happen nowadays is you can literally smell that smell and you're gonna trigger all of the emotions that your mum felt whilst she was in the womb. So no wonder we have days where we feel like we're on an emotional roller coaster ride because we're dealing with emotions that have been passed down through our ancestry as well. And they're not just our emotions that we need to live with. It really um, can affect us. We can start to sabotage our success. We can start to um, go into hiding or we can use pain or emotional stress as an excuse not to keep moving forward and we all want to be successful and we have to if you're in this room you have to go through your own personal releasing and getting rid of your trauma so that you can then be clear to go and help other people and that's what I love helping women do really get to clearing out their own crap so that they can then go on and be the shining light they need to be. So I worked with Brooke, she was suffering with migraines for a really long time and um, just I had been a few sessions with me, they, she stopped having the migraines and really um, got her life back together again. The thing with migraines, you never know when the next one's going to come on, so they really stop you from being able to plan ahead. Yet they can wipe you out for days afterwards, and um, it really can stop you from living in the moment and enjoying your lifetime. I had a client last week who also suffered with migraines, and she said to me, I feel like I've been released from prison because I'm not getting them anymore and I can now go on and live my life and enjoy every moment. So it's, it's absolutely wonderful. So our animals and children really pick up on our energy quickly and I believe as a woman it's your business to make sure that you're not passing this, in, this energy onto um, your children. So animals are very intelligent they will do whatever they can to distract you if they know that you're feeling a certain way so they'll go and get their toy they'll go and wee in the corner which they've never done before because they want to get you out of, of the way that you're feeling dogs can only take on so much energy they will keep absorbing it because they want you to be happy but they can only take on so much and then they become sick and then the expensive vet bills start and you're wondering what's wrong with them, how can I get them better? Um, and it's just about clearing the energy from them that they've absorbed from us. Cats are a bit different. Cats love negative energy, so they will just take it on. They will, they will purr, they will be able to release it themselves. But what I would say is if you are a healer, just make sure that you don't have your animals in the room with you whilst you're doing healings, even the cat, because Again, they can only take on so much and then they become sick themselves. So it's really important that we protect them from what's happening in our environment. Children, also very sensitive. They can um, start to play up much more. They can um, become aggressive or shy. 
you know, they will start to cause problems because they want mum to be okay and they want to distract mum from being um, upset or unhappy or anything they can. So they'll, they'll start having behaviour problems too. So this was one of my clients and um, the owner only actually took action when she realised that what was happening to her, the dog was picking up on. And as you can see, he didn't even want to go out. He was licking his paws um, and they were becoming bald and he was, he'd had enough. He was ready to check out. And it wasn't until I had a session with him and, and let her know what was going on and what was happening between them that she said, okay, I'm ready for you to work on me as well now. So it, it's great. And once, once I clear the energy between the two, he, he was fantastic afterwards. <laughs> he got a new lease of life, which is wonderful. So your first step to, um, you're all going to be given um, a form now and I want to help you be as successful and as happy and healthy as is possible for you. And really it's about you taking that first step and booking a free consultation with me so that I can discuss your personal situation in private and really let you know whether we want to work together or on how I can help you. Um, I, can, I work with people all over the world. I don't even need to know what my clients look like. I've met someone here today who was my client and um, yeah, we hadn't ever met in person before. I didn't know that what she even looked like. So it's absolutely wonderful, yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely wonderful the work that I can do. I can get results in a very short amount of time and the pain doesn't come back. I work with doctors, nurses, solicitors. I really work with a lot of skeptics as well. I was a skeptic. I really understand what it's like to not believe in alternative therapies. And so um, I can really help you shift what's holding you back and sabotaging yourself so that you can then go on and, and let your feminine alchemy shine again so that you can be the best that you can be. So fill in the form, I'd love you to book a free consultation with me and yeah, take that first step to, to being the wonderful women that you are. And if there are any men, I do work with you too, but it's mainly women. <laughs> Thanks very much everyone. You can also book online if you want to. All right. so you can have it when you yes. So you're in your own environment and you can really talk in private about what's going on for you. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, Skype or phone. Yes, perfect. So as we go out, meet Anne on the way out. She'll be outside for a, a chat and the fill out your form and all of that. We've had beautiful testimonies. You probably don't even know that many of our clients have come back. Right. and said how awesome you are. So thank you for being part of the yes, journey of helping you. them fly. Get in. Noah Harris, thank you so much. We're going, to bring thank you. We are going for lunch for 90 minutes. For those of you that are our VIPs doing lunch with us, I will be there in a few minutes with some Q&A and coaching, and that is going to be at the restaurant.